this month we're going to proceed with our live webcasts and as per your guidance the first three are going to be centered around the three universal laws that you speak to us most frequently about of course because it is the the setting you understand first of all you have to create the setting the the framework from which to understand how it came to be mm. So can you just briefly give us a guide, an outline about the three universal laws and what sort of why the importance of the role that they play in our lives? Traditions. Let us look into the great traditions. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the first words was, let there be light. And light comes into being. But for light to be necessary, in other words, for the words from the beginning that has to mean the light presupposes there was existing before it the dark. So it is from the darkness comes the light. Out of, shall we say, the unknown comes something that allows for the light. And yet, in the beginning, something began. You understand, before, there was nothing, no beginning, no ending, just the perpetual, and then was the beginning, and the beginning was a stirring. Do you understand what I mean? So the stirring sets in place something that begins and comes into being. There is a space to occupy. There is a time so time and space occur in the very beginning. And then there is light. And the light shows and shines into the space at the beginning. And in all of this, there is distinctions. There is polarity. In the beginning, was one, then in the very moment of one becomes the opposite of it. Do you understand? And it is a paradox because it was always there in the beginning. Does this make some sort of sense? Yeah. So... In the beginning <clears throat> began mm, something emerged from nothing, but the mm, something was already mm, mm, there in potential. Mm? Nothing contained it all. And then came something. Mm? And mm, the something was the polar. Mm? And when one attracts together the opposites, something new emerges. So now you are moving into distinction. And distinctions are seen as the movement towards differentiation. Mm -hmm. Things begin to differentiate. Mm -hmm. 
there is this one and its opposite, this one and its opposite, and so on and so on. Everything that is created has its opposite, not necessarily the same opposite. And so it emerges into a wholeness, ever creating more and more diversity. And as it becomes more differentiated, it consistently moves towards an infinite. And yet its polar opposite is integration. At the moment, it is diversifying, it is also accumulating, it is also integrating as well. So there is always a, a consistency of breath. One is going out and one is coming in. Does this all make some sort of sense? Yeah. No, you understand then the truth is that everything appears to be one thing. But if you look into it deeply enough, you begin to see there is its opposite in there as well. In order for a creation to occur, you cannot have light, but you must have dark. The light highlights and the shadows give it, shall we say, depth. The three-dimensional world arises out of two forces, light and its relationship to dark. And all the myriads of shades between them. So it appears, shall we say, as if the paradox is that there is no true light or dark, but there is gradients. Do you follow what I'm saying? Mm. And when you even begin to take that into account, into account, there is, shall we say, one lightens the dark and it takes on a hue, as does the light. As you lighten the dark, it takes on hue. As you darken the light, it takes on a hue. And those two hues of, shall we say, blue and yellow. That is the depth of the universe and the brightness of the sun. Blue and yellow. And out of the combination, out of the interaction of these two, arise all of the hues that are possible. All of, shall we say, the spectrum and the spectra of all things come from the interaction of two opposites that are not indeed separate at all. Because if it were all light, you would not be able to see a thing. And if it were all dark, you would not be able to see a thing. So ultimately, even if they are opposites, you cannot see a thing. Does this follow? Yeah. So yeah. it is depth. So one begins to experience life by exploring opposites. One is then attracted to that which is, shall we say, contains the opposite charge. And then you begin to bring in charges that, shall we say, in the physical world, 
that which is mm, missing mm, or has, mm, shall we say, has mm, had one of its mm, compartments in the physical world, that is the electron. Mm. The electron mm, is mm, removed. One mm, mm, chooses to call that a positive mm, charge, but mm, in mm, more realistic terms, mm, because it is missing something, it is truly the negative. Mm? And the other side is gained mm? an electron, which you mm, traditionally call it is negative, but mm, because it has really gained something, mm, it is positive. Mm? But together, mm, they mm, bring it back into a neutralized phase into balance. Mm. So things that are opposite, mm, that come together mm, holding the same mm, energetic charge, mm, mm, balance each other, and there is a flow of power. Mm. Whether that is mm, a personal mm, relationship, mm, or it is mm, the attraction mm, of anything that applies in order to apply the law of magnetism. So if one wishes to create the, something in the physical world, one has first of all to create space for it. If you want whatever it is, you want mm, to create something in the imagination, mm, one clears out one's field of influence. One makes, mm, shall we say, mm, the perfect mm, space, mm, a hole in the energetics for which mm, the universe mm, must mm, instill something mm, to bring it back into balance. Does this make some sense? Yeah. So one clears it in one's imagination. The universe brings it back in, in imagination. First of all, the vision is manifested and then the subtleties start to form. One feels mm, what it is mm, mm, to interact with the new form. And that mm, makes, shall we say, the physical world mm, mm, to draw it into existence. Mm? So from this you can see mm, that there is... Mm, when one begins to understand paradox that leads to polarity, that leads to magnetism, that leads to creating reality. And then, of course, you can fit your, in your meditation. When one is being, one can truly realize that beingness and activity are two sides of a coin. Mm -hmm. The paradox seems to be that you cannot be active in the world when one is deeply in meditation. But the opposite is the world is being drawn to one in the being of the meditation that the physical will, the activity will enjoy. Mm. Do you follow what I'm saying? Yeah, thank you. So... In terms of the three universal laws, can you just explain how it would benefit somebody to have a deeper understanding of each of those three universal laws? 
this is exactly what we have just said. Mm -hmm. You want to create your physical reality for enjoyment. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, one has to understand the law of magnetism. In order to recognize and understand the law of maximum charge, one has to understand polarity. And in order to understand polarity, in so that one can apply a charge, one has to realize that it is always paradox. It is not what it seems. So often the people want to think, shall we say, that you can understand something by using one's mental thought process. But you will discover that is the paradox. Of course, one has to use imagination that is within the mental concept, but you cannot figure it out. It is not an organization on an application of some form of energy making it happen. It is a co-creation with the divine. And the, the divine that you are having the co-creation with is yourself. Now, you understand how possible is that? Because the divine and yourself seem on the surface to be exclusive. They do not seem to be the same thing. And yet, when there is no distinction, that is, there is no separation between you and the divine, everything ceases to exist in that moment, of, in that space. Do you understand that you must be nothing? in order to co-create with the divine which separates and begins its differentiation out into the world to draw what you are wanting to manifest. This is consciousness. Mm -hmm.